let's see, let's let the exploration continue. How about some top of the world excitement? Hmm. Well, let's see how all this works. So this is deck 16 out toward Chill Island because they still have the neighborhood concept going on even up here. Oh, we are going to have to take a minute to just take all this in. All right, so we're looking down. Chill Island for the most part happens down on 15 it looks like. All the pools, all the color, the all the stuff. Are so vibrant, pretty. And you're looking down into the park from up here, of course. That's all the way down to deck eight, where we just came from in the park. Ah, I saw the line. Okay, folks are doing the little like ropes coursey type of thing right now. Okay, we kind of got a little peek back there at the crown's edge section, which is the little board over the side. Oh gosh, wow. All right. <laughs> Yeah, lots of random cool seating and stuff happening down here. It's unoccupied, so we might as well look at it right now. Like hot tubs. Are these casitas? Cabanas? I don't know what you call those. Alright, the adventure continues. I think we're heading forward. I'm a little turned around, but I think that's correct. Ooh, I keep getting distracted by colorful things. That's cool. They have got a slide right here that takes you down to the deck below. That's cool. Just a little dry slide to dump you out one deck lower. All right, here in the middle, we got the lime and coconut frozen bar. All sorts of flavors on display, ready to roll. Ooh, watermelon, that's fun. Oh, on the back side of the frozen bar, they have the swim and tonic, which is a swim up bar. First one at sea ever. Nice. And it is open for all ages as long as your kids aren't in swim diapers. There's the official front where you can see the sign. Oh, let's get this view down again. <laughs> All the way down to the park. It's so open, it's really good. Let's get a slightly lower perspective. <laughs> well, back out to Chill Island we go. Well, we got table tennis right out here. Let's see what else we can learn. The Whirlpool rules, that's what I learned. Well, there's our official rules. I see, this is regular lime and coconut on 15. The frozen was up on 16. Oh, we got distracted by this little unit over here. So this is a cove pool? Yeah. That's cool, like sort of semi-infinity glass edge looking action. Nice. I've got El Loco Fresh up there. Here's a lot of this colorful swangy seating. There you go, here's where they keep their D's and the swangs. So there's a complete look from that frozen bar up there all the way across the pool. We got Brian Adams singing in the background. Very nice. What is all this? Balance, steps, swings, nets. Yeah, I guess these units are the balance steps. There's the nets. We saw the swing earlier, obviously. Let's venture aftwardly. So 15 aft, I see cool things happening in the Windjammer. Oh, fancy washi-washi stations. I do like the paper towel boxes. Above, nice. <laughs> oh, this is quite the greeting. We got ice sculptures. All the letters are made of ice because they're doing a little dripping back there. Ice sculptures, cupcakes. Just admire, admire all this art. It's very, very nice art. Oh, very, very. So here on 16 aft, we've got Thrill Island. Okay. Let the thrills begin. It looks thrilling up here. What can we expect to see out here? All of this stuff, I guess. Let's check out those water slide rules. No cameras, of course, on the water slides. I guess that's where you stash your stuff while you're doing the water slides and whatnot. So here on the starboard side is the twisting array of water slidey goodness. I don't know much about them. They've got some mat slides and different yeah, kinds. Mat slides, like head first lay down. They have some raft slides. It's sort of like a recreation of what's on Coco Key for the water park. But it's included on the ship, which is really awesome. Please no teleportation, okay? No teleportation on the pool deck. Well, let's take it all in right here from the middle. So we got a sports court up there. Basketball, football. 
Pickleball, I love pickleball. There's the <laughs> golf over there. Giant tower to climb up and do your slidey slides. There's a flow rider back here somewhere. Uh, storm chasers mats, so that's what they look like for that slide. Uh, we got the flow rider up a set of stairs there. Oh, and hideaway bay right here on the back overlooking all of this awesomeness. So this is the adult only area. Yeah. Restaurants, oh, we got announcements. <laughs> Adults only. So welcome to the party that is Hideaway Bay. Gay bed reservations available. Definitely a lively atmosphere back here. So we'll keep the chatter to a minimum, I think, yeah. South Beach, Miami. Let's see if we can at least take a quick peek at the main menu items. Huh. Look at a nice big section over here of beachy chairs. I thought maybe we could escape the music over here, but it's over here too, so never mind. Yeah, there's looking across to the actual bar. Checking out Miami. Now I should clarify, this area is just called The Hideaway. I kept calling it Hideaway Bay, which is the Coco Key concept. It is the hideaway. I do have to say, this is the most uncomfortable lounge chair I have ever sat on in my life. Right under the cushiness of where your booty is supposed to sit, there's a giant, like, metal bar. Yeah, it's a weird positioning for that. I don't know. Ouch! Anyway, I probably won't stay here long because small doses, this chair. Huh. And between the chair and the reverberating bass. I don't know that I'll be back here very long, but it's good to chill, like I said, in limited, limited doses. <laughs> Y'all, am I old? I am starting to feel genuinely, physically ill from sitting back here with the music. Like, it's it's hurting my head and making yeah. me a little nauseous. I don't mind music, but this might be a little extreme. And it could just be because there's not too many bodies absorbing all the sound. It's literally us and one other person. Y'all, please come up here and absorb some of the sound. I need your help to help me survive. It takes away the whole relaxation factor of an adult I get if the you happen to watch our video, just tune it down just a little well, bit. I understand the party angle, and I appreciate a good party. Yeah. But this base, ooly wooly. Anyway, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave this area. Yeah, we're gonna go explore more. Well, let's head back. Well, we might actually go to our cabin, do a little unpacking and preparing for the afternoon into the evening. Oh, I forgot about the base camp concept. All right, so that's your eatery up here. Oh, there's the official menu. So most of your items here are up charges. They do have a few freebies down at the bottom, though. Well, they've also got the milkshake bar. <laughs> Deserted, that's cute. Okay, here comes my word of the day again. Cute, super cute. There's the official menu. Oh, they've got some that say for adults. Hey now. Oh, they're all for adults. What? Oh, I see, you can make any of them for adults. So these milkshakes are not included in your drink package like a Johnny Rockets milkshake would be. There is no Johnny Rockets on this ship, actually. Yeah. But for today, they have free samples. We are going to share a strawberry shake. It is our naming ceremony going to be taking place. We, now we are going to be having some viewing venues. You can watch it from the comfort of your stateroom on TV channel number one. Also, you can join us inside the Royal Theater on deck number four and deck number five for a viewing party. It's a momentous occasion here on board Icon of the Seas, and we're glad you're on board with us to join in on the festivities. Good evening. It is evening time. We're getting ready to... Five o'clock? Yeah, to flow into, like, dinner food mm -hmm. finding. The um, naming ceremony, I think I captured a little bit of that announcement, yeah. is happening up in the Aqua Dome at 5.30. Mm -hmm. We were not invited to the naming no, ceremony. <laughs> It's very limited seating. In yeah, it's, it's a much smaller venue, and um, Lionel Messi is the godfather of the ship, yeah. so he's here on board. I thought I saw him, but I don't think it was him. I don't think it was either. Yeah, it might have been him. I'll just say it was. Okay, um, we saw him. We totally saw him. But they have viewing areas throughout the ship in the, in the theater. I don't know what we're going to get up to. Yeah, you can watch it on your TV, too, but I'm wondering they might replay it or something, so yeah. I don't think we're going to hang out in the cabin or anything and watch it. No. Um, There's too much to do and explore. I know. <laughs> so we're going to go look at more stuff. We're going to get some food, and we're just going to do. We're going to check out the new venues for the evening and listen to some music. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Six 
Kane it is. I think we're gonna look at base camp for dinner. Hmm. Oh, the tunes are calmer in the evening. It's downright relaxing out here. It's the same menu that we saw before. So we put our order in, they said about 10 minutes. They've given us a little buzzer here. Now we can overlook the Lost Dunes, the mini golf course. There, they've got the bar over on that side. I don't think we saw that earlier. You know what, let's take a proper look at the golf course while we're here, because there's not a lot of people playing it. So this is called Lost Dunes. I thought it would be called Icon Dunes or something like that, because that's usually how they name their golf courses. Cute, sort of deserted island shipwreck theme going on, I guess. Yeah, they've got like a wrecked submarine, a crashed airplane, boxes of coffee beans. Well, we decided to get a selection of food to share, so we have got fried cheese curds with marinara. This is the chicken and waffles play on that anyway. A grilled chicken sandwich that appears to come with tops and some shrimp bao bun tacos. That'll do nicely. Yeah, these little waffle nuggets have chicken inside them. Clever. All right, I had to be a completionist. You know we had to do it. Went up and got the smash burger. So we've completed the top of the menu. Oh, next up, we got something kind of special. There is a fireworks display that we're gonna go see. I guess special for this, uh, this preview sailing. Oh, darkness is falling. We're starting to get things lit up. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know if they'll have uh, fireworks for any of the seven days or anything upcoming, but I guess we shall see. Come out to the main pool deck now. It is super rainbowy and awesome looking out here. They've got dance music going. I guess this is sort of the official sail away party, even though we are not sailing until about nine, I don't think. So they said optimal viewing is midship starboard. We planted ourselves midship and we'll see what we can see. I should point out, we accidentally sat right in front of a speaker, so that's why it's so loud right here. Whoops. Anyway, there should be some fireworks over there soon. I know this song. of the horn, I guess. This concludes our final safety briefing. Again, we'd like to thank you for your attention and cooperation. 
Now it's time to get back and enjoy your cruise vacation. Alrighty, time to let the wanders continue. Deck eight. Tuesday. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Yeah, they got the thing in the elevator that you can kind of, you know, if you forget where you need to go. Of course, once you're in here, it's a little too late, isn't it? Because you have to decide your floor outside. A little too late, yeah. We walked out of the elevator and there's tunes. Let's wander into the park in the dark. As we transition from piano to delicate guitar. Settled in here just outside Park Cafe, that's where the tunes have been coming from, and we grabbed some sparkling wine, and a gentleman came over and asked if we would like some olives and cheese and prosciutto and things to go with our wine. And guess what Jay said? Why, Why not? not? <laughs> it was really sweet. Yeah. I think he's going in Park Cafe, because I think they do kind of like top it and stuff it in the evening, so that's super sweet. Yeah, Park Cafe at night, they call it. Yeah. Mm. There it is, black olives, my favorite any kind of cheese and some white meaty bready stuff that's amazing Very sweet. so park cafe has officially gone into dark mode so that was part of those tapas that we just had they've also got what they're calling polenta chips crispy fried and meatballs well, I do believe I will. <laughs> well, the tunes have wound down out here, but we're gonna go see if we can check out this sort of bluesy jazz club. Here we have blues, jazz and blues. our jazz tunes for a wander along the promenade now. Now they are supposed to be having a pirate parade and a balloon drop here in a short while. It is not two o'clock. Why does the clock say two o'clock? That's all right. Oh, they do have an escalator on here. So this escalator apparently leads to the casino. Now that's dangerous. They should not make it that easy to get to the casino. We find ourselves at Sorrento's. We've got cheese, we've got pepperoni, we've got supreme, maybe? We got cute plastic plates here, so we got some American combo, as they called it, and some pepperoni. They have hot sauce, ranch dressing, what is this? And of course, the freestyle machines. So we are gonna share some pizza goodness and wait for this parade to begin. Holy ships! All right, we've got some setup down here. Look at this. Yeah, we gotta come over to the karaoke bar for a hot minute, okay? There it is. We had to go hear it. That's two, okay? That's two. The ships ahoy is the name of this parade.
it's almost time for a balloon drop. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the largest cruise ship in the world! This is incredible. You know, we have done this for about nine days now. We've had two shakedown cruises with our employees, and last week we had a trade event. But this right here, the naming ceremony day, there's only this group of people on board who can say, I was there when, and it's you people here. And normally we don't do a parade. Not all these trades or shakedown cruises, uh, but we decided to do one today, and then why not drop 10,000 balloons? How do you feel about that? lounge for a while they have cleaned up all those popped balloons and now it's about bedtime even the pearl went to bed they turned it off that means it's bedtime now i should clarify there was no karaoke going on in the karaoke lounge because no, they no. stopped at midnight after the parade anyway we're just hanging out well, we have stopped in here at the pub to grab a couple of bottles of water. We didn't really look in here earlier. There's a little stage. And of course, looking out to the promenade. Let's check out the menus while we're here. Oh, mostly gin cocktails. Oh, it's stuck to the table. Come here. Oh, wow, it's really stuck. There we go. Gin, gin and tonic, old fashions. Yes, indeed. There are Boleros, Rover again. What's up, boy? They've got German water on here right now. I've never heard of this. We have come back to the cabin to find a cruise compass for tomorrow. Coco Key. Good, Good night. morning. No, it's morning. Good it is morning. full on. It's almost 1 a.m. Guys, it was a busy day. We saw a lot today. We, we did. experienced a lot. We only missed a few things, but it's because they were closed because of the naming oh, ceremony. So don't come at us for that. We will get to them eventually. <laughs> Y'all don't. We're going to get there, okay? Do you not think we saw enough today? I feel like we saw a good amount. Yeah. Were y'all overwhelmed by the amount of new stuff we learned today? Mm, we might have been. Yeah. Uh, so what else? We were going to bed. We didn't really have like a dinner that we probably need to break down because we ate at the uh, base camp. Yeah. No, but we can talk about like what we had and they're yeah. all upcharge items. Right. So it is kind of nice during this like pre-inaugural cruise that they're included so we can tell you if we think they're worth it or not. Yeah. For you. Yeah, because um, I guess running down the menu from, mm -hmm. I think, what was least expensive to most expensive. So it was $6 for the order of cheese curds, or it would be under normal circumstances. $7 for the chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. $8 for the two shrimp tacos. Mm -hmm. I think it was 9 or 10 for the chicken sandwich. 9 I think. Okay, and then 11 for the burger. Yep. If I was rating this on an included food venue scale, I would probably say, hmm, it's worth a stop. Go get most everything. Yeah, everything is flavorful. But if I have to think of things were really worth the money that you have to put out to get them, cheese curds, probably. They were delicious. If you like cheese curds. Then, like, the portion was not huge. True. Like, it's not really super shareable. I think it was 12 pieces of cheese curd. So for $6, you're basically paying 50 cents a curd. <laughs> Uh, something like those shrimp tacos, which work out to $4 per taco, no. no. Um, they were good, but that's way too much. $7 for the chicken and waffles, no. No. Um, chicken sandwich, the one we had was dry. I mean, it was decent overall. It was good, but $9. Would I pay $9 for it? No. No. Um, <laughs> the burger, 
tempting. The burger was really flavorful, it was. really good. It was a little on the small side if you're thinking like $11. Yeah. I don't think I would pay eleven dollars. I would it. also not. I would pay something for it. <laughs> eight, <laughs> to be determined. I would pay eight. Yeah, I would pay about eight. For maybe, it. Um, but it, it was, was a good, good burger. Was the second favorite. So if you had just had to go, like, don't care about prices. For me, it's cheese curds, mm -hmm. burger, chicken sandwich. Maybe. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Maybe the little tacos. They, I don't know, <laughs> but. For what I would actually pay for, I think I might only be on Team Cheese Curds. Yeah. But if you have like the ultimate dining package, obviously that's included. Okay. Like for a certain amount, I think it's $20 per day, you can go <gasps> and then try all those fun things that's as well. That's three orders so. of cheese curds. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. Anyway, I'm glad we got the opportunity so we can tell you. Yeah. I think our goal is to try a lot of upcharge things on here because they're not making us pay for them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then next week when we're on here again, we probably ain't gonna pay for that kind of stuff. We'll show you everything included. Yeah, we'll show you how <laughs> to live and all, and, well, yeah. And frugal. what's included frugal life on Icon. Because there's lots of good options. There are. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, it's bedtime. We rambled a lot. Um, Coco Key tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We got something fun planned for tomorrow. Yeah. So come back. Definitely. And see you then. Hope you learned something new today. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> we did. Good, Good night. night. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Bye.